Texas. Uh, and this may not have occurred to anybody, but it's called following the law. <laughs> I love being at turning point events. They get my sarcasm. <laughs> That's not true in Washington. Was he serious about it? No, thank you for having a sense of humor. But um, no, in Texas, our state constitution says we will have paper ballots that are sequentially numbered. How about following our constitution? But you know what happened? I, I was a judge back at the time, and uh, we got this unfunded mandate from Mount Olympus in Washington saying, everybody's going to electronic voting. That was ridiculous. It caused the massive spending of money. And I said back at the time to the other judges, this means whoever's got the best hacker is going to start winning elections. How about if we go back? I mean, for heaven's sake, in 2005, I was in Iraq, and there were all these people going around with purple on their fingers because they were so serious about the integrity of their election that they would dip their finger in so that nobody could vote more than once. It stayed on for a couple of weeks, and they cared deeply. And, and a police chief was telling me they had one policeman in the long, long line of voters that was, uh, he had a bomb. And a policeman detected it, and he ran and grabbed him and threw him to the ground, jumped on top of him, and they were both killed when the bomb went off. And I said, wow, I guess everybody scattered. And he said, he looked a little surprised I would say that. He said, no, people hadn't gotten to vote in a real election in so long. They knew if they got out of line and didn't vote, then that policeman died for nothing. So they stayed in line and they voted. Right. People have got to understand how important that right is. They're getting it around the world and we got to bring America back to understanding right. that. Right, and our brave